Hello, Once Upon a Time fans, and welcome back to Once Upon a Time Season 4 videos. Yeah, welcome back, welcome back, guys. Welcome, welcome back, yeah. Um, which I'm going to do in episode, welcome to my episode 20 review. Um, Mother, which was good, brilliant, and awesome at the same time. Um, just by Ron Underwood and written by Jane Eskin. Yeah, it was really good, awesome, it's amazing, and brilliant at the same time. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. It was really good and awesome at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Good and awesome. And at the same time, Abby has the troll and the dark man suffering near his death, they say. It's time for the villain to have their happy ending. Damn, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good and awesome at the same time. I'll do the synopsis in a minute, guys. Yeah. This is a tiny minute. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was really, really good at this and awesome at the same time. Oh, yeah. That was. Mm hmm. Yeah. It was really good at this. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, coming up to be um Game of Thrones and then tomorrow will be that and then this will yeah. And then uh, coming up will be Game of Thrones, probably. I don't know. But yeah. Um here's the synopsis of the show. Yeah. Mm hmm. Outside of the storybook, um, out of the bar, we're this stuff before being has moved on with um, Selena, um, because she's pregnant with his child. Roland doesn't understand where his mother has gone. Robin tells Crimson to look to the old um, wife, Marion, because Selena killed Marion in the silent forest. Emma holds dream catcher, this is Neil's apartment. Selena feels the baby kit in her tummy. Regina and Robin arrive at n it to Neil's apartment. Regina tells Emma, Lily and Selena we go down to the storybook tonight. Emma drives her bug with L uh, Lily and Selena. Regina tries um, Robin black cheek with Roland. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's the character's past. In the Shine Forest and um, before the first curse, Evil Queen Regina stumbles upon a wedding being held and the land that uh, is off limits. She makes it clear by pulling the heart out of the groom and crushing it from of his bride and families and friends. Regina then noticed some flower on Daniel's grave and spot Cora who pays her a visit in the anniversary of Daniel's death. Cora says is there to apologise and make things right here, yeah, right? And want to see Regina happy by finding her the love that Tinkerbell spoke of. But Regina, having been upset with Tinkerbell previously, says she will believe it when she sees it. Later on, Cor heads to the bar to find Robin, where she learns for the sheriff of Nottingham that Robin is now married. This gives Cor the idea to make the sheriff the true love for her daughter who conjures up a tattoo that is similar to one Robin Hood had. Unfortunately, Regina would catch on to what Corey did and um, Cora did. And when the sheriff confessed to Regina that Cora was hoping Regina um, would fall in love and have a child, Regina made him confess by turning in a fake tattoo into a lion and attacked him. Realising what Cora did in order to have convincing her child so she can have and her heir to the kingdom. Regina decides to sacrifice her hope to bear any children by taking a potion that she will leave her unable to do so. This brings them towards a decision that she really ever wanted what was happy to be her painful. Regina tells her mother that she doesn't want here anymore. 
and here's this of a storybook. In storybook, as Emma brings Lily back to storybook, she was able to reunite her with Melissa while at the same time Regina and Robin Hood must find a way to deal with Selena even if they can find a way to, to be together. Soon they've got to get together at range. Lily asks her mother about what are they going to do about David and Mary Margaret and she still has grudge against them. But Melissa states that she isn't up for revenge and personally Lily to stay in the school but while warning her what she will want to be able to leave town and apologizes and Mary Margaret are going to um, Mary Margaret and David for help. Hook reminds Darby that he will do whatever it takes to keep Emma from going dark but the message has fallen on deaf ears as Isaac tells Mr. Gold that needs Emma in order to produce fittings into the world world since Emma has yet to experience the darkness. So they can look up information on the Virginia blood magic. However, the cast is affected the girls as her heart grows darker. Virginia suddenly shows up wanted Isaac's servant since she was the one who wanted to find Isaac first. Oh yeah. Only to have gold, Mr. Gold, making an offer to Regina to help her to find the magic ink for Isaac. Regina, however, says that she will find the magic ink on, on her own and take Isaac with her as she learns that energies of em Emma's and Prince's darkness is needed to produce to me. Sorry. Um, subtext. Uh, Isaac then tells Regina um, Isaac then tells Regina that she was working for Mr. Gold um, because he protects him. Regina then shows Isaac the picture of Regina being with Robin Hood. Isaac states that he was planning to write about it but never got the chance which gives Regina an idea. Regina of again Lily after she walks out on her mother at the diner and tells her that Mary Margaret and David are both dead. Regina then cuts Lily's hand to turn her blood to into sample of darkness in her and this is while quoting Welcome to Storybook. After Regina leaves, Lily's eyes become reptile -y. Yeah. Hours later, Melissa, Mary Margaret and David Lee encounter Lily in a dragon form, but as Melissa apologies it Mary Margaret months after, David says to Mary Margaret and Lily to Mary Margaret that Lily is out of control as not to Mary Margaret out Emma and she comes to her mother as and uses her power to heal her. When Melissa confronts Lily she returns back to Dragon form as Missing gives Lily her baby battle, but she never got the chance to give her. Lily can calm, calm that she destroys everything, she touches everything, no one can somehow put any darkness in her. As Missing convinces Lily to stay for weeks and teach her uh, some tricks, Emma finally forgives Mary, Margaret, and David uh, for what they did to her. After completing the task um, of Alexander and Lily's blood, Regina and Isaac re visit Lily's cell at the storybook hospital and states that she plans to write an ending for Smear and Belle to have written out of the story as her half sister claims that she was gotten to know about Core as the magic ink is dying. Regina tells me that Paul wasn't a better mother as Robin Hood comes in. As Regina decides to spare Selena for now and results in Regina's decision to give her a chance to find her healing ending. This gives 
give Isaac the opportunity to write his right and way out of the possible and recognize where he must go. His shop at the shop where upon meeting up with him, Isaac instructs him to start writing a new book upon titled Heroes and Villains. But Isaac already has a new chapter for in store for everyone involved beginning with the dentist once upon a time. Damn. Just what? What? Yes, it was a really good episode. Fantastic, brilliant, and let the force may the force be with you, guys. And um, yeah, may the force be with you. Yeah, it was a really good episode. Fantastic, brilliant, awesome, amazing, and wicked at the same time. Yeah. So, um, the verdict of this um final four episode. Um, I'll point to the time. Mother, um, I'm going to give it 9.3 out of 10 and a solid A plus because it was really good and very intensive. Don't miss the two hour f finale, um, two hour and missable season finale, guys, on Once Upon a Time at 8 7 Central on what? On the um, Once Upon a Time. Don't miss it, guys. It's going to be brilliant and fantastic at the same time. I hope you this with me guys, see you um, um, see you um, tomorrow guys for um, Game of Thrones, see you tomorrow um, for Game of Thrones, Family the Guy, Simpsons, Reginald Gotham, EastEnders, World's End, and all that, so yeah. I hope to see you guys and see you tomorrow. Bye!